Jeez, it's like one hour of misery just to get out of Wyndham this morning. So anyone that lives in Norfolk, they know that they're doing the A11, which is like the main route into Norwich. And it's like one of the only main routes really from, you know, anywhere else that isn't East Anglia. And they like blocked it off for months, yeah. They've, they've, they've like single laned it forever and ever and ever. Well, they've only gone and shut down Wyndham's road. So like, if you go from Wyndham, you know but whatever it is what it is i suppose uh yeah and um guess where i am let's go uh go get some stuff for the flat some bleach and go get bleach bin bags breakfast all begin with bees but no, three bees right i'll sort the three bees out and i'll see you in a bit <laughs> Right, that's about as good as I get, folks, unfortunately. There never was a uh, David Beckham, unfortunately. Catastrophically messed up this sideburn here, but get away with it, I think. Yeah, so anyone wondering what uh, number I use on the razor? I use zero. <laughs> no guard. Um, uh, all right, dude. What do you think of my t-shirt, people? Seems relevant. I remember when I moved in here, and after about a month being in here, I looked under here, and that was all slime and grease, and like bodily fluids from the previous ten tenants. Absolutely disgusting. So I think it was, uh, no comment really, but like I know things get missed sometimes, but it was like, Ooh. so yeah, lovely. <laughs> in the UK guys. Absolute game changer. Why well, I can't. You need to try and pick some up. Let me show you. It's like minimal work as well. It just brings up taps and everything else. Anything lime scaly. To another level, really. Kitchen I'm happy with. Bathroom is still drying off, but it's all pristine. Bedroom's done. Always done, closet's done, living room's done. So tomorrow, when we get up, we will sort the van out in our area, where we always go, clean the van out, sort it all out, pick the rest of this stuff up, get all this in the van, pick up the rest of my clothes, pick up that bike rack, turn all the lights off, turn the water off, and we're done. So, yeah, I'm a happy chappy, really. Uh, it was a bit of hard work, but I know that this won't be too bad, hopefully, because it'll just be come back, load up the van, chuck it in the storage unit. And it's done. This this is done, effectively. So I'm happy to now shoot off and get some work. So, cool. Right, folks, we're in Norwich, just parked up. Uh, I'll show you the cathedral. And um, yeah. So this cathedral, yeah, is 878 years old as of today. Well, not as today, but I don't think that scaffold is. I think that's quite a bit newer. But yeah, there's Edith Cavall sitting there. Uh, and the city of Norwich is actually a thousand, over a thousand years old. But this size of this thing, man, it's absolutely enormous. I've only been in there once, I cried, so they were singing. I know at the top of the spire they used to have birds, but I can't remember what birds they are. Not very good, am I, with my uh, little uh, tours? But cool, isn't it? I think you can walk in here, but I don't know, I'm a bit nervous. Do you walk in there? Okay, so there's uh, 
been worship and a bit too hard, I think. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Harry Potter. It's your rounder, isn't it? So this tree, oh no, comes good old wind again. So this tree we're now coming to around this corner behind us, 800 year old scaffolding, is um, called the Huggin Tree. And that's about the limit of my knowledge, really. I don't actually know any more about it. But I'll show you the sculpture. It's near it. So Norwich, all over the place, it's got like original walls and everything. <laughs> like the original city walls. Which is pretty unbelievable, right? Look at that, effort. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this tree, yeah, this is called the Huggin tree, basically. No Huggin allowed, it says on there. Uh, yeah. It looks pretty good for 878 years old. I think I'd look a bit worse than that. I already look worse than that, and I'm only 30. So. Cool, I'll show you some other stuff while we're here. Now, coming up on the left is the oldest pub in Norwich, established in 1249. I don't know, I can't remember the date, but it was registered as the oldest pub, admin pub. Cool, isn't it? thousand years old, but nearly. See how congested Norwich is these days. Shut half of it off, look what. To our right is St. Stephen's Street. Our main shopping street in Norwich. Um, we're coming up to uh, Chatfield on the right hand side which is the main shopping centre as well. Also sorry going back to St Stephen Street if you used to be able to turn right but you can't anymore. Um, uh, if you keep going down there you'll find, you'll come to the uh, the uh, castle. <laughs> Getting people upside. Quiet for Norwich. Say it was quiet the other day. Ambleside, I'm noticing how quiet it is everywhere. So this is where I was yesterday. Younger, me and my mates used to play a game, we used to come up here as fast as we could in our cars. Well, not me, I didn't have a car until I was like 20. Alright, let's quickly show you this view that I wanted to show you yesterday. Yesterday. 
Hungry today, I don't know why, just got another sandwich. Fun fact, I used to live there. It was alright, but I had a sloping roof and I used to bang my head all the time. And after a while, I got my tits. So I'm a bit of a tidy up, guys. The fan. And look what's appeared. It was sitting there when I opened the door. So it must have been in there. Or it's like worked its way around here somewhere. We can actually get some good shots again. I can set up the van again. Happy days. Alright, oh, it's that time again, guys. So just spent the last hour reorganising the van. Need a little bit more organised. Food cupboard's looking a bit more organised, so that's good. So you got to try and place stuff so it don't move around. It's an interesting task. And then I'll just sort out this bottom section as well. Makes it a little bit more tidy. Um, it's surprising how much stuff you don't need, really. Yeah, it's parked up. Middle of nowhere, just trying to sort this out. Um, wanted to sort all this out before we uh, got the rest of the stuff in here, really. Sitting up Walcott, guys. Uh, my two spaces are taken up, which is bloody annoying. So I'm stuck on the road. I don't like being on the road. But uh, yeah, I'll just see you where I'm sitting up, so. Um, I think I'll call it there today, guys. Um, yeah, I think it was a good day, wasn't it? We had our first scare, guys. Uh, that's why I'm filming in the middle of the night, 12 o'clock at night. Um, so I parked up. Uh, it was really off track. But it was near some housing, which I didn't really think about. And uh, this housing didn't look that great, but it's a really, really quiet area, which I thought would mean it was all right. But about 10 minutes ago, I just heard, it, I think my door handle was pulled on the side door or the petrol cap was interfered with. I haven't checked the outside of the van yet. I just jumped over this, I took this headrest out on my left and uh, jumped over the seat. I had my headphones in, I've still got my headphones in, I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I heard it over the headphones. I thought, uh, sorry, just can't straight. had my headphones in as you can see and I heard it over the headphones so I know it was loud it was either that or it was a deer or something but something pulled something on the van so to do that is I'll be very surprised if that was a deer or something like that um, when I turned the van on I had a look around just to see if I could see anyone but 
couldn't see anything by that point. The only thing I did notice is there was some garden lights on, like about a 10 minute drive down the road. So I don't know if someone just tried it on, saw the high vis and thought there might be some tools in it. Uh, not ideal guys, obviously, for my confidence. Uh, so yeah, I'm now travelling at 12 o'clock at night, trying to find another park up. Um, I was actually struggling tonight to find a park up anyway. It's been a bit of a cursed night to be honest with you. But, you know, if you never feel comfortable, if you ever feel threatened, just move on as quick as possible. Um, that's all you can do. So, we'll look into more security measures, guys, I think. But, alright, I'm, I'm safe. Alright, so I'm going to find somewhere safer, find some other vans and, and sleep with them. Hi right, guys, just quickly. I've just pulled over uh, once just because I want to program the maps to where I'm going. Uh, yeah, there's um, fingerprints on the petrol cap. Um, they're not mine because I haven't filled up petrol. I'm, I'm out. Uh, I can show you. I'm down to one bar on the petrol cap, on the petrol gauge. So there is, there is fingerprints on not the petrol cap that you want to do, you want to screw, but the petrol flap that covers it. So. Someone's interfered with that, chanced it. Um, they might have heard me rustling around and that's threw them off and never run. So, yeah, that's um, not good, is it, guys? Um, righto. Uh, I'm going to move to my next park up.